Hello, first graders. Welcome to a new English lesson. Please get your reading, writing workshop book ready and let's start. We're going to start with page 50. Um, let me remind you with the weekly concept, Tales Over Time. We talked about story time <clears throat> and we covered this um, uh, last lesson. What's a folk tale? We also learn about folk tale. It's a story that has been told for many, many years. And often, as we see in most of the stories we learn or remember that it has animals and the characters that they speak and act like people. Also, it has a beginning, middle, and end. All right. Let's start with page 50 and um, listen to the meaning and examples for the words. Any. Do you have any fairy tales? Now we see a little child in the library asking the librarian if she has any fairy tale stories. So we know fairy tales are not, it's not real, so it's still related to folk tale. All right, let's listen to the word one more time. Any. <clears throat> Do you have any fairy tales? Okay. Let's see the next word. From. This is the word from. Say it with me. From. From. Graham read to us from her book. Okay. And then the third word, happy. Happy. I am happy to be in the play. One more time. Happy. I am happy to be in the play. And then. Once. Once upon a time, there was a queen. And we usually use this word when we start a fairy tale or a story. Okay. So. That story is so funny. One more time. So, that story is so funny. And again, last word. Upon, once upon a time, there was a king. One more time. Upon, once upon a time, there was a king. All right, so let's read the words and the sentence, and then you know your turn to read the sentence and just create one uh, while you're reading the word. Okay, first word, any. Do you have any fairy tales from? Graham read to us from her book. Happy. I'm happy to be in the play. Once, once upon a time, there was a queen. So... That story is so funny. Upon, once upon a time, there was a king. So these are the six new words that we'll be using them in our story. All right. <clears throat> the new phonics rules. Let's listen. Soft C and soft G. The letter C can make the soft C sound you hear in race. The letters G and DGE can make the soft G sound you hear in age and edge. Face, place, space, nice, slices, sense, page, cage, stage, pledge, fudge, gem. All right. So soft C and soft G. The letter C can make the soft C sound like you hear in race. So when you have the sound of the letter C, like S, that's mean this is soft C. And that the letter G, when you have the letter G and D, G, E, can make the soft G sound you hear in age or age. So let's listen one more time. Soft. Soft C and soft G. The letter C can make the soft C sound you hear in race. The letters G and DGE 
can make the soft G sound you hear in age and edge. Face, place, space, nice, slices, sense, page, cage, stage, pledge, fudge, gem. All right. Let's go for page 53. Madge eats a big slice of fudge. Jen likes to sing on stage. One more time. Mad Madge eats a big slice of fudge. Jen likes to sing on stage. Okay. All right. So now these are the words that we gonna listen to and try to spot them in our next story, the nice man. So let's listen to the words. These words will be having the soft C and the soft G. Your turn. Look for these words with a soft C and soft G in the nice mitten. Nice, lance, edge, mice, place, raced, hedgehog, space, trace. One more time. You your turn. Look for these words with a soft C and soft G in the nice mitten. Nice, lance, edge, mice, place, raced, hedgehog, space, trace. All right. So we... Now, learning about the soft C and the soft G, and these are the words that we will find them in our next story. So let's turn the page to page 54. Remember, we're talking about folktale this week. Genre, folktale, essential question. What is a folktale? Read the story of a little boy's lost mitten. So remember, folktale, we just said that the story has been told for many, many years and been passed from generation to generation. Also, usually animals are the star of the show or star of the story and they act and talk like human. And also it has a beginning as any plot or story has a beginning, middle and end. All right. The, the nice mitten. Turn the page. Once upon a time, a boy named Lance went out to pick up sticks. His mom gave him nice red mittens in case his hands got cold. All right. Take, take the mittens and keep them safe, his mom said. But as Lance left, he ran fast and lost a mitten at the edge of the wide forest. As you see the man over there, next page. Five mice saw the mitten. This is a nice place to rest, they said. So the happy mice went in and rested. Next door. Then a, then a rabbit raced by. This is a nice place for hiding, she said. So the rabbit went in and hid. The mitten puffed up a bit. So first were the five mice, then the big rabbit. Okay, next. Next, a hedgehog came sniffing by. This is a nice place for taking a nap, he said. So the hedgehog went in and slept. The mitten puffed up a bit more. Just then, a big bear came by. This is a nice place to get warm, he said. So the big bear went in. The mitten puffed up from all the animals in it. It puffed up as much as a mitten can. Do you think this could happen? I don't think so. At last, a black cricket came by. 
This is a nice place, he said. We do not have any space, said the animals in the mitten. But the black cricket went in, and just as he did. What do you expect? What do you think? Can you predict? Yes. Snap, pop. Rip, snap, pop. When Lance came back, there was not a trace of red mitten left. So sad. And we see the boy, he tried to find his lost men. All right. Cause and effect. Cause and effect. A cause is what makes something happen in a story. An effect is the event that happens. To find the cause and the effect, ask, what happened? Why did it happen? Find text evidence. Find the causes and effects in the story. Take the mittens and keep them safe, his mom said. But as Lance left, he ran fast and lost a mitten at the edge of the wide forest. All right. So, what's cause and effect? A cause is what makes something happen in a story. And an effect is the event that happens. So to find it, we need to ask two questions, help you to find what happened and why did it happen? Because if you know what happened, that's the cause. And the effect, why did it happen? So over here, the, the cause and effect in this story, this is, he ran fast, that's the cause. So what happened? He lost his man. So let's see the examples on page 65. Graf graphic organizer. Cause, effect. Cause, Lance ran fast. Effect, he lost his mitten in the forest. Cause, the animals wanted to rest. Effect, the animals went inside the mitten. Cause, too many animals went in. Effect, the mitten puffed up and got too big. So if you read uh, step by step, if we say for cause, we say cause means what makes something happen in a story. So we say Lance ran fast. So what happened? He lost his mitten in this forest, in the forest. So because of this happening, because of what happened, this is the action that rely or the effect that happened because of what he did. The second one, the animals wanted to rest. This is what the animals want. This is the cause. So what happened? The animals went inside the mitten. Too many animals went in. This is what happened. So what that was the effect for this one? For all animals getting inside or to be inside the mitten, the mitten puffed up and then got too big. Right. Let's go back and listen to the story. The nice mitten. Okay. So when we say predict means guess what's going to happen. So from looking at this picture, I can tell that these animals will be squeezed in. I cannot tell if it's a mitten or a sack or something. But when I read maybe a page or two, I will find out. Once upon a time, a boy named Lance went out to pick up sticks. His mom gave him nice red mittens in case his hands got cold. So if I look at this picture, seeing what the boy is wearing, I can tell that the weather is really cold and, and as we see now snow, so he needs to keep warm. Next page. Take the mittens and keep them safe, his mom said. But as Lance left, he ran fast and lost a mitten at the edge of the wide forest. So this is one of the cause that he ran fast. This is what happened. So what would the effect that he lost the mitten? Five mice saw the mitten. This is a nice place to rest, they said. So the happy mice went in and rested. 
You pay attention to the soft C. Mice, nice, place. Right? Then, then a rabbit raced by. This is a nice place for hiding, she said. So the rabbit went in and hid. The mitten puffed up a bit. Right. So also we have here the word race. And then, um, that's it in this page. And again, nice and place, but we had it before. Next. Next, a hedgehog came sniffing by. This is a nice place for taking a nap, he said. So the hedgehog went in and slept. The mitten puffed up a bit more. Of course, right? Because more animals now. And we see that soft G, hedgehog, and that's it. Next page. Just then a big bear came by. This is a nice place to get warm, he said. So the big bear went in. The mitten puffed up from all the animals in it. It puffed up as much as a mitten can. Mm -hmm. At last, a black cricket came by. This is a nice place, he said. We do not have any space, said the animals in the mitten. But the black cricket went in, and just as he did, rip, snap, pop. When Lance came back, there was not a trace of red mitten left. So sad. Very good. So if you want to retell the story, that means you say what happened in the story using your words. And the most important thing that you see, uh, you say uh, on sequence or in order, like what happened first, uh, what, um, where, where Lens were going, what did he lose, and then which animal went in and what happened to his uh, mitten. Okay, that's it for today, first graders. Thank you. Bye-bye.